and battled some birds. Now, there's no question, birds can be hazardous for aviation. But as Ann Carrion shows us in this next report, it's even more difficult when the damage is done at night. This is what's left after several birds collided with a T-34 trainer. <laughs> it was kind of scary. It happened around 7 Thursday night. Lieutenant Jim Dale and his student, 2nd Lieutenant Bill Howlett, had just taken off from Whiting Field. Uh, at about 700 feet, uh, they hit a bird, uh, which went through the canopy and uh, basically knocked out the instructor pilot. A bird hit the pilot in the face. Its remains made a bloody mess. It was the student's first night flight and first time in the back seat. I couldn't see anything. Um, ended up that my uh, uh, visor was covered up with uh, pieces of the, of the bird. But I didn't realize that right away. Um, after a couple more seconds, I raised my visor and uh, realized my instructor's helmet and pieces of bird were in my lap. Howlett says he could barely see. He talked to other instructors and was able to follow another plane. He uh, recognized the problem, uh, uh, took command of the aircraft, climbed up, uh, talked to the appropriate people on the radios, uh, came in and uh, basically set, you know, got the aircraft configured for a landing, got it on the uh, final before the instructor uh, regained consciousness. And once he did, the instructor fought 100 mile an hour winds with no helmet and no windscreen and landed the plane. I'd like to say that everybody could do that, but uh, clearly uh, not everybody's ever faced with that kind of emergency, and he handled it magnificently. There are over a million flight operations a year here at Whiting Field. Striking birds is a rare occurrence, but one that can no doubt cause a lot of damage. Ann Kirian, Channel 3 News.